This week, we are taking a closer look at transportation and traffic. And for a lot of people, getting to and from work is the most frustrating time of the day. Yeah, and when the commute actually became a roadblock to hiring workers, some businesses stepped up with a solution. This alternative may have started small, but as Brianna Pitts tells us, it could lead to some big changes down the road. It's much cheaper to take this than to pay for gas. It's great, and there's Wi-Fi. These are commuters actually enjoying their ride to work. This is much cheaper and much faster and much more convenient. It's free. Free because their employers pay the bill. These commuters hopped on at Alewife and are heading to jobs in Bedford, including iRobot. How do we get folks from Boston and Cambridge to take a job out here in the burbs is a big question. The answer to attract top talent from the city to the suburbs also meant solving a big problem, finding reliable and convenient transportation. We created this transportation organization because we heard from the business community that they needed more transportation resources. The Middlesex Three, a regional group promoting economic development, teamed up with companies to share the costs of these private shuttles. But this isn't just for people living in Boston. Currently, we're also working on a shuttle from Lowell to Burlington as well. The Middlesex Three has about 100 commuters traveling to 70 different businesses. This is one of 17 similar regional groups shuttling 400,000 riders around Massachusetts. That's a whole lot of cars off the road and even more shuttles could be on the way. We have a shadow shuttle because people, it's become so popular that we're filling up the seats and we want to make certain that we don't leave anyone behind. There's a huge demand. Demand from workers like Ryan Lugenbuehl. He switched to the shuttle while his car was in the shop and now he's rethinking his commute. I think most days I'll still take this. What started as a perk for just a few workers could now be paving the way for a little less congestion for everyone. Brianna Pitts, WBZ News.